Hi, this is Edward Mendoza. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what the actual cost of OMS CS might be for you. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. If you're very prepared before you get into the program, you'll be fine. And it's gonna be roughly what you're seeing on online. You're gonna take every class, you'll pass it, you'll get the A, <laughs> and you'll move on to the next um, until you finish your, uh, your specialization. The problem most of us encounter is if we don't have a really, really high undergrad uh, preparation for, for this master's degree, most of us will take classes and we're gonna suffer from the very beginning. And if we have anything else going on in our lives, we don't have enough time to actually catch up to speed with what the requirements of the class is. So for example, uh, a class like computer vision that you, I mean, you look at the curriculum, it's like, well, I've done some Python. It's a, uh, I understand the math b uh, behind uh, a lot of these algorithms. And then you take the class and you realize how immensely difficult um, one of these courses is. Now, of course, you can go to OMS CS and uh, um, uh, OMS Central, I'm sorry, and kind of get an idea of what the course is gonna be like. But there's two problems to that as well. Every course that somebody's talking about is one semester behind. So another thing that also changes a lot um, with OMS ES is that they change the courses quite a bit from semester to semester. And any class has been my experience that people have said it's, it's on the easy side. As soon as they get those, <laughs> Uh, as soon as they get that kind of a feedback, they're gonna ramp up the course and make it much, much more difficult because, well, they don't wanna be perceived as a simple um, online university. And honestly, it isn't. It's like, I haven't seen any courses that I really thought, it's like, wow, this is so easy. This is, this is easier than undergrad. But I kind of got into it later. So if I had taken uh, OMS CS four or five years ago, maybe I would have had that, um, that kind of experience with some of these classes. So it's been my experience on all of these classes that no matter what the course is about, even if you can handle the material, even if you're already prepared, like uh, when I took uh, on Kabai, knowledge-based AI, you're still going to have to spend so much time with the class that if anything else comes in and you don't have enough time to do great, you're probably going to have to drop the class. Not because you're even doing that bad, but you're going to be too scared of getting a C or a D in the class. and here's the real kicker most people aren't aware of when they get into this program. If you get a lower grade, even if you retake the class, they're not going to cover up the grade of that class with the new grade. You keep that grade. So it's too big of a risk if you're not doing very well in a class. And by very well, I'm, I'm saying, even if you're kind of at a low B within the withdrawal period, which is usually a, a month, month and a half before the, the class ends, you, you feel like you just don't want to risk it. So you'll withdraw. I've, I've, I've already dropped two classes where it's like, I could have kept going. I probably even might have gotten a B. Uh, at worst, a C, and you just don't want to risk it because a C hits your GPA. If you get two or three Cs, you're going to get uh, um, such a low GPA, they're going to kick you out of the, out of the program. Um, and then it kind of forces you of just getting A's and other courses. And like I said, a lot of these courses are so hard even getting that you know low B becomes really, really difficult. So then if you get a bad grade in any other semesters, it's forcing you to get a really high um, grade in these you know, otherwise um, very different, uh, difficult courses. So it's a situation where you go into it thinking, no, I'll finish this up in two years, I'll be in, I'll be out, and you don't realize first how difficult they really make these courses. And second, the amount of time it's gonna take you to really get a better grade, especially on the courses that are part of your specialization. And even if it's not part of your specialization, you kind of wanna make sure that your GPA is really high anyway to not risk being kicked out. For those of you that aren't aware of uh, the GPA requirements, you have to maintain a 3.0. You could literally get one F and that just kills your GPA and they're gonna put you on you know, a warning and, if you don't make up for it, the very uh, um, following semesters, um, uh, they're just gonna let you out of the program. 
So you're incentivized to do extremely well in these courses and you don't realize how much prior knowledge you need to these courses. Everything that they say online of the requirements, what you need to know, what they really are trying to say is you already have to have mastered those skills. So any, any requirement, it's not like a requirement like, oh, if I have the basics, I'll be fine. No, you've had to already have some kind of industry experience in that particular language. The majority of classes are like that. It's not a joke. There's a reason over 65% of people that get into this program end up just dropping and then don't continue, right? So that idea of, oh, it's gonna cost less than 8,000. That's if you already have the 10 years experience. That's if you already been, you got your undergrad like at UC Berkeley or you know, you've been to a really, really difficult school. So you've already put in those thousands and thousands of hours programming. Most of us come from a different background. I had a, um, an art uh, um, bachelor's degree. Yeah, I had a 4.0 in my, <laughs> in my said degree, but it, it, it had nothing to do with, uh, with computer science. So I ended up spending three years preparing myself for, for Georgia Tech. And even that wasn't enough. It took me almost a year, year and a half to get up to speed to the level that they're expecting. Now, was it worth it? To me, it totally was. I really am now at the stage where it's like, I am the programmer that I always wanted to be. So to me, it was totally worth it. To other people, if they're in financial difficulties and one, it's like, it, it might not be. And of course, it's much, much cheaper than going to an actual, uh, um, a, a real university, right? And, instead of doing it online. But again, it all depends on what's your goals because how much cheaper is it to just do it online all the courses that you're going to be taking, at least the videos and the lectures are going to be online. And then you can make your own projects. So do you need to go through that uh, um, the entire system to get the kind of skills that you want? Not necessarily. You're going to be better off going through their education because it's so strict and so difficult. You're going to see all these different corner cases. You're, you're going to go through so much. <laughs> so much pain and agony that it, it honestly is going to make you a much, much better programmer. Um, so have that in mind. It's like what they're saying is the actual cost depends on your experience. So they should say it's like if you already have a solid background, if you you pretty much already are a master at, at this particular subject in computer science, you're just taking the classes to prove that you know what you're doing and then you'll get the easy A and you'll take it one time and you'll pass. Those are the definitely smaller numbers <laughs> of people that go through the program. Um, so it's it's not that they're, they're lying. They're not lying at all. It really is the cost of, of the education if you have that solid background. But since it's so much easier to get into this, uh, the online version uh, of the school versus so many of the, the uh, on-campus um, uh, universities, right? It's their point of entry is just so, so, and I'm not saying it's so low. I mean, you do have to, fulfill certain requirements. But the, the real issue I've seen, oh, look at that, I have a little halo. <laughs> uh, the real issue here is if you're not prepared, I either recommend people to wait like a year or two if you can, or just take one really simple class and then withdraw before we withdraw period and that, that'll keep you into the system. And do that like for a couple semesters first while, while you get ready uh, because if you don't have a strong background, I mean, I meet people all the time in, in this program that don't have, I mean, they're not programmers. They don't have a programming background. It's like, I, I had like a year of programming before the three years of, uh, of um, re-education that I had. I took all the math, all the programming courses that I needed in order to really know what I was doing going into a graduate, a graduate degree for computer science. And for me, it still was really difficult the first year and a half. So people that don't even have a programming background, they're gonna get in, they're probably just gonna drop because it's too much. Or they can take it slow and really learn those skills and within the time frame of six years, they, they can make it happen that way, that way as well. So just a heads up, it can be as cheap as they're saying. If you don't have the background, it kind of won't be. So you have to kind of measure that and see what you wanna do. The other benefit though of the cost being so low is that you can pay for it as you go. It's like, I don't know anything. Even if I would stop going to school, it's like, I don't, I don't have like a student loan, but a lot of people aren't in that situation. So that's the only thing I kind of feel people should know because some people are getting loans to do this and they're thinking, wow, it's, it's gonna be much less than 10,000. I have a master's degree and then I can get a better job and whatnot. It's like, that's not gonna be the case unless you have the preparation. So if you don't, I highly recommend 
get the preparation first, spend the hours, spend the years it's going to take you getting up to speed and then, and then get in.